Hi, everybody. Amy Pittman here. Just um, Actually, we have some breaking news in regards to county clinics. And if you don't know what a county clinic is, it's basically a place that provides either free or um, inexpensive based health care to county residents. And so um, these clinics are typically utilized by uninsured um, low-income residents um, who basically maybe either receive a free service or even um, receive treatment as low as $10 a visit. So there's some things going on actually in our backyard. I mean the next county over, actually Cumberland County, which consists of Fayetteville, Hope Mills, and a very popular place you may be familiar with, um, Fort Bragg. Their county clinic is shutting down. And it's crazy because North Carolina currently, um, only about 55% of public health departments have dental practices on site. And Cumberland County is actually one of those sites. So um, it is shutting down as of 13 days ago. So any residents who um, were getting any services in regards to health, um, as of the last day that they would be able to be seen will be July the 20th, um, the last day for anything in regards to dental um, procedures will actually be done, um, was actually done July the 1st. So what do we do? Like, why is that important? At the end of the day, even with Affordable Care Act, people are still not able to afford health care. So the, the, the thing that really filled in the gap was, was this clinic, was its health care. I mean, this department, basically, the um, county health department. We all have been there before. They basically do education on dental. They do education on um, preventative pregnancy care, women's health. And so just to give you some statistics, um, Cumberland County actually completed 4,000 142 total procedures, including exams, um, cleanings, hygiene, education, fluoride, um, fillings, um, also stainless steel crowns, and they also took referrals, all right? Now, this may shock you, but the average patient that they were providing care for was from six months all the way up into 20 years of age. So that's a huge gap of people who are left out without coverage, without any option um, of being able to get some type of quality care for mainly for the dental, but more importantly for their overall health. And so the clinic had actually served um, basically, I would say anywhere between 1,000 to 2,000 people um, over the years. And so a lot of these children, a lot of these patients were children and also teens and um, also really like, uh, uh, I would say college age students. So those are the majority of people that are actually going to the clinics. And also we have some seniors that are included in that as well. But more importantly, I think I was taken back about the population that is actually in Cumberland County, which is over, I would say about 320,000 people. So we actually have a problem on our hands and it's right here in our backyard it's not something that happened years ago this just happened this month a couple days ago so we have a solution it's an awesome company um, that offers affordable dental care for the entire household so this company is called AmeriPlan it would actually cover the entire household the six month old all the way up into the 20 year old really no matter the age for under $25 a month and that's everybody in the household whether you like them or not whether they are just coming to visit for a little while and it's just a transition spot for them but this plan will basically be able to be the solution and fill in the gap and help these residents in Cumberland County be able to meet the needs so it's important that we do not forget about the people who um, can't afford the Affordable Care Act at the end of the day. They don't have an option. Maybe they are on unemployment. Maybe they just lost their job. Maybe they are sick. Um, there's so many different reasons why people may have to use um, the, the county clinics. And I think the best solution that we have right now is offering them an option that is one affordable, but it can meet the needs of the entire household. So I hope you guys keep your eyes closed to the streets, keep your ears open and hearing what's actually going on and know that even if a person is going to the clinic and even if they um, may not have the option or they um, may even 
we um, just going to get a couple things done, they still need to get their dental care taken care of. At the end of the day, if we don't take care of these needs right now, they will fall over into taxpayer dollars at the end of the day, as well as they will basically clog up our emergency rooms with just simple things as dental. So here's another need in our own community that we have a solution to take care of. Thanks, you guys. Hey, ma! I'm on TV! Hehehehehehehe <laughs>